A couple weeks ago, I came across some Instagram videos showcasing stunning living rooms. At first, they looked real, but I soon realized they were AI generated. So I checked out the Instagram account and saw it had nearly 10 million followers, with videos getting millions of views. Clearly, this account is making a substantial income monthly from these videos. And this sparked my interest in how these videos were produced. Surprisingly, the process is quite straightforward and can be done for free. In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can create some soothing videos just like those, whether you want to start your own anonymous Instagram page or use them as backdrops for your faceless lo-fi music channels, you'll find this guide super helpful. So let's get into it. Making these relaxing videos is super easy, all thanks to AI technology. First up, pick an AI image generator. There are lots to choose from out there, but Midjourney is a great option. If you're looking for a no cost choice, check out Leonardo AI because they give you 150 free credits daily, which is usually plenty. And your goal here is to create images of living rooms with big floor to ceiling windows. For this, I highly recommend the low diffusion model. And don't worry, I've got a prompt ready for you to use and you'll find it in the video description below. Feel free to tweak it to your liking just to make sure to include instructions for a double height room with those large windows. Hit the generate button and here's a quick tip, always upscale your image. In Leonardo, you'll find the upscale image option right at the bottom of the screen. Once you've upscaled, just download your image and you're good to go. All right, so next up, you'll need to create a separate image for the view outside the window. And I've got you covered there too, there's a prompt that I made just for these backgrounds. Just input this prompt, generate the image, upscale it, and download it. Now here's a crucial part. You've got to cut out the windows from your room image. Photoshop is a go-to for this, but if you're looking for a free option, check out Photop. It's a browser-based program that works a lot like Photoshop, but it's free. And once you've uploaded your root image to Photop, the easiest way to cut out those windows is with the polygonal lasso tool. This tool lets you draw straight lines, super handy. Just start at one corner of the window, click each corner to outline the whole window, and then hit backspace to delete that part of the image. You'll do this for every single window. Now, it might get tricky in some spots, like near the couch. In these cases, switch to the magic wand tool. It helps select parts of the window so you can delete them. After dealing with the tough spots, go back to the polygon lasso for the rest of the window and just like that you're done with this step all right moving on to the next step head over to the file menu in the top left corner click on export as and choose the png format give your file a name and save it now to really bring those images to life you're going to need a video editing program and my top recommendation as always is CapCut because it's totally free and super easy to use i actually use it for all my video edits now what you want to do first is upload both the image with the cutout windows and the background image you made with your ai generator in to cap cut. Start by placing the background image on the timeline, then layer the image with the cutout windows right on top of that. Now for that cool snow effect, you'll need a green screen video of falling snow. Just hop onto YouTube and search for snow green screen. There are loads to choose from here. So pick the one you like and download it. And once you've got that, go back to CapCut, upload the snow video and place it in between the background image and your window cutout image. And just like that, you're on your way to creating something awesome and new. All right, now here's the part that's like magic. In CapCut, find the cutout option in the video section, which should be in the top right area. Here, you wanna turn on the chroma key feature, use the color picker to select the green color from your snow video start increasing the strength until you see the green background start to vanish. But here's the thing, sometimes not all the green goes away. You might still see a bit of green tint on some snowflakes, so just nudge the strength up a little bit more to get rid of all that green. Keep in mind though, you might lose a few snowflakes during this. So to fix the leftover color issues, head over to adjustments, find the saturation slider, and drag it all the way to the left. This will strip out all the color, leaving you with perfectly white snowflakes. Oh, and a pro tip here, slide the brightness all the way up, making those snowflakes really pop. Now you might notice the snowflakes look a little bit too big and don't quite cover the whole video. There's an easy fix for this. Just shrink down the snowflakes video a bit and then copy and paste it a few times to fill up the whole space. For an even cooler effect, like it's really snowing, duplicate every layer of the snow effect and paste it and then just tweak the direction a little bit and voila got yourself a snowy wonderland. You know, I feel like the background image here is a little bit tad too bright. So to fix that, just select the background image in CapCut, head over to adjustments and dial down the brightness a bit to give it a darker, more cozy vibe. Once you're happy with that, click on export in the top right corner, give your video a name, hit export again, and you're all set with this part. But wait, there's more. I want to add a fireplace to really set the mood here. First, head over to YouTube and look up fire green screen. Find one that you like, download it, and then upload it to CapCut. Now, just like you did with snow, 
go to the cutout, turn on the chroma key, and use the color picker to get rid of the green screen. Adjust the strength until all the green is gone. Next, resize the fire video so it fits right into the fireplace area in your image. And just like that, you're turning up the heat on your video. All right, we're almost at the finish line. Head over to the ratio setting and adjust the aspect ratio to 916. That's perfect for short form platforms like YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Instagram Reels. Next up, let's make the video a bit more dynamic. Enlarge this video a little bit and place it on the left side of the screen. Now to get that smooth left to right movement, start putting the timing bar at the beginning of the video. Then in the top right corner, find position and size in the video section, add a keyframe there, slide the timing bar to the end of the clip, pop in another keyframe and nudge that video slightly to the right. And that's it. You've got a video that smoothly transitions from left to right. Let's hit play and see how awesome your final result looks. But hey, before we dive into the big reveal, I've got something really cool to share with you. Do you know I grew my faceless Instagram page from zero to 70,000 followers in just one month? And I've actually put together a really cool course explaining how I did it. And you can find the link to the course right in the video description or in the first comment below. It's hosted on the best community platform out there called school.com. It's 100% free, so you can join my Elevate community and mix and mingle with other entrepreneurs from all around the world. All right, now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the final result. Check this out, isn't it amazing? And remember, you can use the same method to whip up some relaxing backgrounds for your own faceless pages. I'm all about sharing tips on money making with AI generated content. So if you're into that, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and thanks so much for watching today. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.